Hello, and in today's 5 Minute Friday, I wanted to show how you can correct the geolocation of photos after a flight using data provided by a cause network. This is particularly useful if you're in an area with poor cell signal and so RTK is not working or not working reliably. In that case, you can still fly, collect the data, and then use PPK to correct the data later. I touched on this in the previous video covering RTK and PPK, but wanted to go in depth here to show exactly how you get that done. To do this, you're going to need three things. First, you will need an RTK unit on the drone, even though the drone flight is not using RTK, as it collects extra data that's needed for the processing, even when RTK is turned off. Second, you need data from a nearby core system, and I will show you how to download that later in the video. And third, you'll need software to process all of this data and update the photos. I'll use Emlid Studio, which is free and runs on both Mac and a PC. Start by capturing your photos in the usual way. I set up this simple mission by my home, and as you can see here, I have an RTK module installed, but I do not have RTK turned on. Once the data has been captured, download all of the files on the SD card. You will see there are some extra files. Keep everything. Now we need to find the data we're going to use as the correction data. To do that, I'm going to go to a site called User Friendly Cause System. Here you can download custom cause data files based on your location and the time of day. Go to the URL displayed on the screen. Here you need to enter the information to identify which data set, and that's going to be based on the date and the time zone and the start time and end time that you need the data for. The selection that you put in here should start before your flight and continue to after the flight. The files are quite small, so you can use a big range here without a problem. To find the site ID, you can click on the cause map link and it will take you to a map showing all of the cause stations. I'm going to use the location icon to zoom to my location and then look for something nearby. Here I can see that NJI2 is pretty close, so that is the site ID we will use. Pick which satellite systems you want to download the data for. I pick all of them and then press the Get Cause Data File button. A zip file containing the data will download. Sometimes you'll get an error if the data is not available and you might need to come back later or perhaps even pick a different location. Now that we have all the files, we're ready to fire up Emlid Studio. If you don't already have Emlid Studio, you can download and install it from this URL. Start Emlid Studio and then select Drone Data Processing from the drop down if it's not already selected. Now we'll start telling it which files we're going to use. First, the drone data. Click on drone and then go to the folder you downloaded from the drone and pick the file ending in .obs. Now the base, this is the data you downloaded from cores. Make sure you already have unzipped the file and then click on base and point it to the folder containing the cores data. Then select that file. Now the navigation data, which is from the drone, so go back to the folder you took from the SD card and select the file there. And then finally, we will include the MRK data. Again, this is from the drone, so navigate back to that folder and add that. Once all of these have been added, the process button should become available. Press that to generate the correction data that will be applied to photos. After processing, you will now have the ability to select the folder containing the photos. There is an option to update the original photos. If you select that, the data of the original photos will be updated, but I prefer to keep the original data, so I leave that unchecked. Now press Tag Photos. After the photos have been tagged, there will be an option to view the photos. If you didn't select to update the original photos, then there will be a new subfolder in the folder containing the photos. This contains a copy with the geolocation data corrected. Now you can use this data to process your map. I've processed this map using both sets and you can see the offset of where the photos were taken between the original and the corrected data. 
As I've mentioned previously, I would strongly recommend that you use some checkpoints around the site to make sure that you can verify if everything worked correctly. But you should find that your maps are now accurate and ready for use. Anyway, that's it for another video. I hope you found that useful. As always, I do love to hear your questions, so feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.